Hi everyone, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and in today's video I will discuss about the difference between tightly coupled system and loosely coupled systems. Okay, so the tightly coupled systems are also called as multiprocessor systems or parallel systems, which we have discussed in our previous video. Okay, so now in this video we will focus on the differences between tightly coupled and loosely coupled systems. Okay, so here you can see there are the diagrams of tightly coupled systems and loosely coupled systems okay so with these two diagrams itself you can clearly make the distinction between these two systems okay, so in tightly coupled systems there are different cpus and all these cpus are connected with single memory that means all these cpus are sharing only one memory and same system bus and same set of input and output devices okay Whereas in the case of loosely coupled systems, although here also see there are different CPUs, CPU1 to CPU4, but here unlike tightly coupled systems, in loosely coupled systems, memory is placed within the CPU. Okay, Each and every CPU will have their own set of memory. Okay, And all these CPUs with their memories are connected with a common network okay so that is the difference between this tightly coupled and loosely coupled systems okay uh, both in the design and functionality uh, there are some differences and we are going to see those differences in further more detail okay so now let us ta start our discussion with the first point in tightly coupled multiprocessor system has shared memory as i have told you and with this diagram as well you can clearly see that all these cpus are sharing a common memory whereas in the case of loosely coupled system has distributed memory here memory is distributed with their cpu okay so each and every cpu has its own memory and all these CPUs are connected with a common network. In tightly coupled systems, these systems are more expensive, whereas loosely coupled systems are less expensive. Tightly coupled systems has memory conflicts. Okay, uh, there will be memory conflicts because multiple CPUs are there, and these CPUs are accessing the same memory. So obviously, when multiple cpus are accessing the same resource then there will be chances of conflicts okay so this may be happen that the process which cpu1 wants to access this may be possible that cpu2 also wants to access the same resource okay and cpu3 may also want to access the same process okay so like this some conflicts may occur but since every cpu will have its own memory in loosely coupled systems so there will not be any chances of memory conflicts okay so let us move to the next point in tightly coupled systems there will be more interactions between the tasks whereas in the case of loosely coupled systems interaction between the tasks will be very less in tightly coupled systems these systems are very compact in size but loosely coupled systems are larger in size uh, and then tightly coupled systems can be easily moved anywhere as I already told you because they will be compact in size so it will be easier for us to move these systems anywhere and loosely coupled systems are difficult to move anywhere tightly coupled systems in tightly coupled systems CPU is connected very close to each other okay? so as you have seen in this diagram this in tightly coupled systems multiple CPUs are connected with a very close contact with each other so whereas in the case of uh, loosely coupled systems CPU is located at different locations okay. in tightly coupled systems every CPU has common bus memory input and output devices okay as I have shown you in this diagram in tightly coupled systems there will be a common system bus memory and input and output devices Okay. but there is no such kind of sharing in loosely coupled system in tightly coupled systems shared memory is used by all the processors so in tightly coupled systems if any cpu or if any processor wants to communicate with another processor then it has to share the same memory but 
in loosely coupled systems processors will communicate with each other by passing messages in tightly coupled systems these systems are less scalable okay so there are very less chances of upgrading these systems okay there are very less chances of adding further more functionalities into these systems whereas in the case of loosely coupled systems there are high chances that we can uh, add more and more features to it okay and then in tightly coupled systems high chances of system failure okay since these systems in the systems there is only one memory and this memory is shared by all other cpus if something goes wrong with this resource which is memory then there are high chances that entire system might get failed whereas in the case of loosely coupled systems each and every cpu will have its own memory so in this case if anything goes wrong with any of the cpu then also system will work perfectly okay because other cpus will have their own memory and they can execute their processes okay so uh, these are the differences between tightly coupled systems and loosely coupled systems okay so uh, in this video we have tried to discuss the difference between these two types of systems in complete detail okay so that's all for this video guys and i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks